hello everyone welcome to this channel again and this is the third video of our source tree tutorial video series and in this video we are going to learn how to commit and get with the help of source tree and how to push your code or project uh, with the help of source tree into your uh, repository so let's create a new repository first go to the github and log into your account on and go to the um, profile now from here you have you can create your repository to create a new repository you can just click this plus icon and then create a new repository or you can also go to the repositories tab and then create a new repository by clicking this new button now in here you can select a template of your repository but i'm not going to select any template of this repository of this repository so let's uh, give a name of this repository uh, test so i am creating this repository as test you can also give the description that is optional to this repository and then you can create this repository as a public repository or as a private repository so the public repository is the repository that is visible um, on the internet to everyone and the private repository is the repository that is only visible to you so let's create this repository as a public repository and let's check this add a readme file and then create repository now here you can see the test repository has been created successfully now uh, to push your code or project into this repository you have to clone this repository first so we have learned how to clone uh, a repository in our previous video so you just need to go to this uh, code button and then copy this https url and then go to the uh, source tree and then uh, select this clone option and here you have to paste the uh, url of your repository that you have created so let's paste that uh, url so let's paste that url and then let's browse the destination where we want to clone this repository so let's say i want to clone this repository in documents and then click create a new folder with a name test and then select this folder now let's clone this repository now here you can see uh, our repository that is test repository has been uh, cloned successfully now let's open it up in uh, visual studio code or any code editor that you have let's go to the file and then open folder and then go to the destination where you save that repository so in the documents then the test repository now here you can see we have the same repository that is in our uh, github account and here you can see we have added one file that is readme.md when we were creating this repository so the same file is, a, is also in our code editor because we have cloned this repository into our system now let's add a new file in this repository let's say i want to add index.html file and let's write a basic html code and let's save this file now if i go to the uh, source tree and then go to the file status i will not see any changes but i have added a index.html file so i should see that, that index.html file in my file status but there is nothing in my file status so whenever you added a new file remember whenever you added a new file you have to go to this drop down and then select the untracked files and from here you can um, see all of the new files that you have added in your project so let's stage this file and then uh, go to the modified and here you can see the index.html file is in our file status now before now before pushing your code or project into your github repository you have to commit first so what is commit what commit means so in github commit means you have to specify what changes you have made in your project or in your code what changes you have done so to commit in source tree you just need to write your uh, message you just need to specify your changes what you have done in this text box so let's say i added index.html file so 
uh, let's uh, say index.html file edit now let's commit this by clicking this commit button and here you can see in the history we can say that commit that we have met index.html file edit and now we can push this file into our github repository so let's click push and then push this file now we got an error this is because we didn't give the uh, personal access token that is uh, github personal access token to this source tree software so whenever you got this error you have to go to the, your github account and then go to the profile image click this profile image and go to the settings and then scroll down and go to the developer settings now from here you can generate your personal access token so let's go to the personal access token now let's generate a new token let's give a name to your token let's say uh, i want to give let's say uh, a simple token and you can also select the expiration or date of your uh, of this token so let's say i want uh, this uh, token to expire after seven days and then you have to select uh, select the scope scopes uh, that uh, what can you do what can you actually do with the help of this token so let's say i want everything i want to do everything with the help of this token let's check all of this uh, checkbox now let's generate token here you can see our token has been generated successfully so let's copy this token and go to the uh, source tree and in source tree you have to uh, uh, give this uh, personal access token into your settings so in the right corner you can see uh, this uh, settings uh, button so go to this settings and then uh, added this origin uh, that is your github repository link so click edit now in this url you have to uh, uh, give the personal access token but in the spatial format so the format is uh, right uh, so the format is opening tag and then and then closing tag and then at the rate now in this opening and closing tag you have to paste that uh, personal access token so let's paste it in here and here you can see you just have to write your personal access token in this format click ok click ok again so let's try to push your code again click push now uh, the source tree is asking to authenticate now in this password you do not have to write your github password you have to uh, uh, give your personal access token that you have generated so we have generated this personal access token so let's copy this and again um, go to the source tree uh, and paste your token here and also make sure to check this remember password so you do not uh, have to enter this uh, on every push so let's log in and here you can see our push completed successfully now let's go to the uh, github repository and let's refresh this test repository and here you can see the index.html file has been added into our repository with the same commit index.html added that we have commit in our uh, source tree so let's uh, make some changes in this index.html file so let's add uh, h1 a heading uh, and in this heading let's write uh, hello from source tree now let's save this file so uh, here you can see we have done some changes and we just uh, save this file now if i go to the source tree and go to this file status now in the modified files i can see this index.html and if and if i click this index.html i can see what changes i have made in this file so you can see how useful this is 
but ever or whenever you make changes in your project you will see all of these changes in your modified files and whenever you add a new file into your project you will see in the untracked file and if you have conflicts in your file you will see in the conflicts tab so let's go to the modified files again and let's stage this index.html now before pushing this index.html we have to commit first so we have made some changes so whenever we made a changes uh, in our files or in our project we have to push that changes so before push that change or file into our repository we have to commit first so let's commit and let's specify what we have done so we have added a heading Now let's commit this and uh, here you can see we have made another commit we have added a heading now let's push this uh, commit now here you can see uh, now the source tree is not asking you to generate personal access token this is only one time now let's go to the uh, repository again and let's refresh this repository and here you can see we have commit this uh, from source tree we have added a heading now let's go to this commit now you can see what changes you have done in this commit now let's go to the index.html file and here you can see now we have heading in this file now i hope that this video will help you uh, to learn how to commit and how to push your code into your git repository with the help of source tree and if you face any problem related to commit or push your code or uh, generate personal access token or if you are uh, facing any issue or any error related to this then feel free to mention your problem you mention your issue in the comment box